assume that I smoke. People just why is my hair like this? Like, do I do I want to run mad? Get a kibuni see her. Hello, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new on this channel, please hit that subscribe button. If I don't need subscribe back, you know how we did over here like, share, and comment. Okay, so today I'm going to tell you guys why I started my freeform locks. Um, this is freeform locks. Okay, I just moisturized my hair. So let me do a 360 for you guys to see how, how sweet. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys why I started my freeform locks, expectation, reaction, and all of that. I'll be doing um almost like a series on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, you are missing out on a lot of... You're actually missing out and I'm boring. So, um, the thing is that, you guys, if you want to follow me, totally follow me. <laughs> it's not my fault. But before we jump right into the video, you guys, I want to introduce to you my natural hair gang. If you are watching this, I have a natural hair class coming up. You guys, please listen to the classes in August. And the class costs only $5 and um 1500 naira for those in nigeria to 23 cities for those in ghana you guys i'm receiving payment through world remit transfer wise paypal any any my bank account so you guys totally totally i made a post on my community tab so please click on that link and please support your girl so right back into the video so um so why does that my free from lux journey um Okay, first of all, I know somebody decide somebody wants to know why did I choose dreadlocks? Okay, so the thing is that I my two options, okay. In fact, my only option then was to cut my hair. <laughs> That's the truth. I'm not going to lie. I like I I was not to sound dramatic or sad or anything. I mean this channel is uh, <laughs> this channel is not for sad people, obviously. I would just um I was just like going through stuff. I mean, I'm still going through stuff now, but I was just having it really, really bad then. I don't know if any of you can relate. If you can relate, you can leave a comment down in the comment section. And I just needed to do something, you know. I needed to do something and I, I can't get piercing. I don't like pain. I can't get tattoo. I don't like I don't like pain and I, I don't know, it just you not know, my thing. I just decided that okay, I was going to take out my anger on my hair because I feel like my hair is a big part of my personality. I mean, if you know me since school, you know me as the Afro girl. I mean, everybody comes to me for natural hair tips, so <laughs> not bragging, but bragging. Basically, I just needed to do something, you know. I was feeling I I was feeling a lot of things, okay. I don't want to say depressed or suicidal or anything, but I was just feeling a lot of things. I just needed to do something do something i was like okay i was going to cut my hair that i was going to go bald but later i thought about it that okay since i already had plans to go the dreadlocks way because i told myself that if i clock 50 if i live up to 50 sorry you guys i'm i'm very skeptical forget i'm this jovial online deep down in real life i'm very skeptical i told myself that if i live up to 50 years i'm going to get dreadlocks as like my hooray you made it to 50 in life so i was like okay let me just since i feel like i'm having a midlife crisis which i feel like it's normal if you're in nigeria if you're in your 20s you'll be having a midlife crisis and it's okay it's excusable because the average lifespan of a nigerian is 44 45 so i mean if i'm 24 and i'm having a midlife crisis i can be excused right <laughs> Woo! that was it and how did i choose free form instead of like going the normal gel locks way and just getting saloon locks and all that i just I just wanted to do something new, something different. And then if you look around, there are a lot of people who have like salon locks. I just wanted to look unique in my own way. I just wanted to I wanted to do something and at the same time not do something to my hair. I don't know if that is making sense. I decided that I didn't want to always go to the salon and just have somebody um rig their anger through my hair i also didn't want to do my hair i mean right now i still do my hair but it's low maintenance i separate i wash i deep condition it's just yeah i mean i won't compare it to when i had my hair loose natural so yeah i just so what i did basically was i cut my hair so i i had dyed hair before so i just cut my hair i because my locks i didn't start with like bald hair obviously so i just cut my hair like most of it and then i got two strand twists hey two strand twists gang 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 okay so i got two strand twists and then i just i just let it in that was how i started 
um with my expectations honestly man i had no major major expectations for my hair i didn't even have any idea how my hair was going to turn out because i mean if you trace the okk family the sleeping family nobody has gotten looks i'm like the first person i'm like a unicorn in my whole in the extended family so i had no idea how my hair was going to turn out but i just saw that oh my hair is thick my hair shrinks a lot my hair is my hair is just you know super dense i was like okay let's see so I, I i really had no expectation but obviously i also had like love crush you know um there was this girl i can't remember her name i think whitney or so she also has like 4c hair and her locks like came out really thick i was like okay yeah i think i'm going for something like that i want to think that when i walk into the room they're like yeah whose bitch is that whose bitch is that i wash and moisturize my hair once every week or latest once in two weeks but i always try to wash my hair because ah i stay in nigeria and honestly honestly the place is really really dusty and the sun is like you know sun is harsh you just have to because a good way to infuse moisture in your locks apart from misting your hair with aloe vera or tea tree um sorry um what's that thing green tea yeah is to actually wash your hair so if you wash your locks the, the water is going to like get into your um, matted strands and just give it that moisture that is missing so i try to always wash and see with my hair oil that i sell so you guys totally patronize me solid underscore p i ship worldwide it doesn't matter where you are baby my products gonna get to you after you've paid back to the video okay so i will say that um when it comes to reaction right with family honestly the truth is that my mother has not seen me in like um a year and let's say two months and that's almost my i think my, my yeah my hair is now a year and a month since i i got the twist like i got the twist not when it actually started looking so i i feel like i don't know i've not really gotten the reaction reaction from my my family side and i've not met the extended family and um my i've seen only two of my siblings and at first they were like okay what's going on with you what's going on but later they're like okay 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 i feel you i feel kind of dope and stuff so i lost my mother with my father i saw my father when my hair was about four months or six months when i went to the airport to like just um say goodbye or something like that i saw my daddy but my hair was still in a sort of like okay are we twisting are we locking what are we doing you know that's awkward stage you say it's the ugly stage in natural hair growth or whatever my hair was not like in that stage so my 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 daddy didn't really my daddy didn't complain i mean you know man i don't know the difference he just told me and he was more concerned about me as a person he didn't really care about my hair like yeah because i i even held my hair up so i also feel like my dad hasn't really seen me see me but my sister sent a photo of me to my father and my father sent me a voice note you guys oh my god ah i wish i can play it ah that phone is dead my father said my, my father said chidera get a kibu ni see her eh get a kibu ni see her eh jimmy to see her <laughs> basically i was trying to say that why is my hair like this like do i do i want to run mad you know the way nigerians they believe that my people they have that that they call this um dreadlocks that that is like more like a spiritual something to them but i feel like my friends are used to me do like i'm i'm always doing like weird stuff i mean maybe since i posted that picture with my pet go they're like oh my god chida we've given up on you like just 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 do whatever you want like just just do whatever you want so then when i tell them that oh i'm locking my hair and then they saw that i didn't take out the teeth they're just watching 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 but nowadays i mean they've been feeling me i mean they're posting me so obviously i feel like <laughs> they're kind of like feeling me then with strangers i get i get a lot of like awkward stares and i'm just getting used to it because i can't do anything about it and so when i go outside my hair like this people just people look at me like i bought to i bought these and just they stare like they don't have shame ghani has to even come out i they just look at you like i bought to i bought they're gonna look you like this guy okay for this question i i really don't know how to put it i mean sometimes when i have interviews with people like uh, maybe i have like a meeting or a job interview or something after looking at my qualification and they just look at me i don't know i feel like they are wondering that how can somebody be smart and fine and want to keep her hair like this like they don't understand and some people just assume that i'm an activist i'm trying to do something black culture related i'm trying to fight for something i don't understand like a lot of black people to do whatever the f they want to do with their hair it's just hair it's not that deep when are we going to grow up so i don't think that's affected me 
negatively apart from the fact that people just people see me and they just assume things like some people assume that i smoke some people assume that i'm a bad girl i'm a wrong girl or something or some people assume that i'm demonic i'm possessed or banjo there's something wrong with me i mean that's the negative the assumption positively man it has affected me in a good way i mean i i feel more self-confident i've always been confident but i look way beyond what's on my hair like i know that <laughs> I'm a speck. Um, okay, honestly, man, I would say that my dreadlocks um, has made me more or less popular. But just um, let me just be honest with you guys. Some people have stopped talking to me because of my hair. And I'm not surprised because um, I'm irreligious. And a lot of people cut me off when they realize that I don't believe in God, quote and unquote. So I feel like, oh, my hair is just a whole different thing. But I don't think it has made me more popular but um somehow i it kind of like attracted a whole a, a certain tribe to me um especially on instagram i can say that 30 percent of people or 20 percent of people and i have new followers that follow me because of dreadlocks you know they ask me for dreadlocks tips inspiration i mean they just want to get um those dreadlock content from me they're trying to see how my hair is going to you know blossom and all of that and i feel like that's like a good thing so i won't say like i'm not a popular person so i mean come on i'm not, I'm not a celebrity i'm just an average Nigerian girl trying to live life the difference between then and now is that um then at first when it comes to my hair i was really i was i'm see i'm always anxious like i have anxiety but there was also another type of anxiety was i was really curious i was worried okay how's my hair going to turn out is my hair going to be like this am i going to get flat locks are they going to be round should i palm roll it was just a lot like for me because i mean I, I feel like somehow um, society pressure or i just felt like oh people are watching me what's going to happen and all that but uh now my hair my hair is more like i know what to do quote and unquote if i want my hair a bit longer than this i know that oh i have to band it and that when i wash my hair it's going to shrink i know that oh if i oil my hair too much it's going to feel dry like you just you just you just that thing that when you when you do something more you learn more so you kind of like you're not better at it so um the difference now is that my hair is like my hair is more locked now at first my hair was like, like really really twisted now you can't even see the two strand twist i doubt you can see it what i don't like about my locks oh honestly man what i don't like about my locks is that um so i i noticed that i mean i feel like this is just the con i mean the disadvantage of getting thick locks because with the, way, with the way my hair is thick now, the only wig I can wear on my hair, even if I try it, is like the afro wig. I can't wear slick wig because my hair cannot like conroll. If I'd got like salon locks or really, really tiny free form locks, my hair will be able to conroll. But because my, my locks are like really, really thick, you get like my hair is unable to conroll and sometimes I just have to press it down. That is it. The fact that sometimes it's just too thick and it's annoying. That is it. And um, what else? Uh, my hair is low pressure low porosity my hair has always been low porosity so i know that oh my hair is going to get dry fast i have to moisturize like every other day or almost every day depending on my routine so that's basically it i don't think i don't like oh oh, oh one more thing i noticed that my hair was like browning and it was really really freaking me out you understand i was like oh my god my hair is browning you guys browning is um when the sun is like when the sun bleaches your hair you guys you can you probably cannot really see it now but the way locks are because the same set of hair like the same set of hair strands are exposed to the sun the sun actually bleaches every hair type like even loose natural hair but you won't really notice it in loose natural hair because loose natural hair you style your hair in a different way and the sun is hitting different part of it and loose natural hair most of and uh, most people with loose natural hair have a lot of products in their hair conditioners a lot styling products so those things i am um, kind of like filter the sun rays but with locks the sun is hitting just one part of your hair every time so with time your tips will kind of like your tips will become brownish as if you've as if you dyed your hair but some nigerians are very ignorant to just assume that you don't wash your hair which is which is so funny like check me out check check me out sir. as a speck like this how can i don't wash my hair check me out just look at me okay you guys i'm so happy and this is the end of the video before you click away please 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 before you click away please click the link in the description for the hair class please join the class and please share this video with your friends and um if you have any friend that is considering um dreadlocks any type reform locks or whatever feel free to ask me questions feel free to make your video requests i'm definitely going to record them and it was nice making this video this video was a lot of fun so you guys stay tuned uh, okay 
no that is for intro i mean so you guys um like this video leave a comment share this video and if you're not subscribed subscription is totally free please be a ninja you don't have to pay anything just click on that subscribe button that red thing and then let go love you guys see you guys in my next video